Today we're going to be looking at a 1969 and a half Plymouth Roadrunner by Auto World. I do love Auto World, but this is like um, the old tooling, like back in the day, Ertl Ertl, you know, like the uh, basic Ertl. But what Auto World does is that you can see the boxes. It looks like it's been out in the sun, but um. But what Auto World does, it just they just put carpeting and this fancy stuff all over these uh, cars, and uh, pretty fancy, and it gives you a story, and they have something behind these cars. You can read that if you want to. You can pause it, read it. Even there's the history for it right there. But yeah, um, good model. Uh, only one thousand and two pieces made. Pretty cool muscle machine. So let's get this out of the box and see what we got. And here it is. I gotta say, this model is beautiful. The only problem that I have with it is, uh, is that uh, it's just actually probably not the well, well the hit the doors, you know. But it's old tooling, so how how would that work, you know? You can just basically go out and get a GIMP if you don't want this version. But, not bad. Uh, I, I paid 60 bucks for it. Which is not bad for this model. Considering, like, what you get with it. But, yeah. Here's the front end. You can see that this doesn't line up very well. But I'm going to show you how cool it is once we get it. Headlights are detailed. Everything on this model. Chrome's pretty good. We got these big exhaust and uh, a trunk space. Roadrunner. It, it clearly says Roadrunner. And you can see that's cool. The little decal for the for the um Roadrunner himself. <laughs> pretty cool. Um Let's go on to the hood and see what we got. We got a that's supposed to that that's how it works by the way. You're like, oh my god, you broke the model. No, uh, that's how it is. I'm gonna say right now the engine detail is the engine detail is fantastic. Everything, the wiring and everything is just perfect. And you can't get better than this engine and it's see-through too look at this see-through that's pretty awesome even everything even you got the whistle the road runner road runner whistle let me see if i can put this back on here but yeah but yeah um Let's get on to the interior. What's nice about this car is that it has carpeting. You can see carpeting. Very nice. Yeah, just your basic uh, hurdle. Hopefully you can see that. Everything very nice. It ain't that bad actually. They, they paint everything. Even on the, even on the doors, can you see that? But yeah, dog legs. But yeah, good model. Let's go on to the passenger door. <clears throat> At least the uh, the dog legs don't give up. You know, like you don't have to worry about it getting broken. Very nice. No seat belts on this model. This is just like your regular Auto World trunk. Has a spare wheel. Has a spare wheel. A mat. Eh, it could be better, maybe. I don't know. But the cool thing about this model is, uh, hold on, sorry. By the way, look at the wheels. Hold on. Look at them bad boys. Pretty nice. Indicators are painted on. You know, it's basic uh, 
out of the world. But is this worth your money? Uh, well, here's the underside. Okay. Hold on. Let me. The underside of this model is fantastic. I, I have to say, the underside of this model is incredible. Look at that. Pretty dang good. I, you know what? <laughs> That's probably the selling point right there. By the way, I think my car is 23 out of a thousand and uh, a thousand and two. That's a special number. But uh, but yeah, guys, this is the Roadrunner, and I'll see y'all in the next one later.